Who do you think is going to be easiest? Julian, B Lab, Samaj. Who's going to be easiest? Julian. Ju Julian, I, I feel he's like he's not working. Um, I would say he's the most complacent. Samaj, I would say he's going to be the toughest person. Though. Yeah, consistent. He's got the consistency. Just yeah. works like I, a dog. Yeah, I talk to him every day. It's what about B Lab? Let's go. So we got some of our top income earners from last week on our podcast. And this is our Strip Mall Paycheck Friday podcast. But today is Monday, so they already got paid Friday. And um, in addition to that, just a disclaimer, we sell life insurance. We make decent money. It isn't all about the money. We value developing ourselves, becoming better human beings, and taking care of the families that we're protecting, utilizing the life insurance products. But we want to highlight the opportunity that's out there, whether you have a degree, you don't have a degree, you are younger in life, you are more mature, you're a little older in life, you're a parent, a single parent, wherever you are in life, you can get a life insurance license, you can protect families utilizing the life insurance products that we have, and you can make good money in doing so and build up passive income. So let's jump in. Who was number two out of you two? I was. You were number two. What'd you make? I think you made more than me, no? Yeah, I did. So I was number two, if anything. I made yeah. uh, two thousand five hundred dollars. Okay, twenty five hundred, not a bad week. Yeah. You got to spend a week or two ago. You were in California. Uh, yeah. Yeah. A little while ago, I was in Colorado recently, though. Colorado, Cali, yeah. traveling. Got yeah. a new whip. What'd you get? Did we talk about that yet? I don't think so. Got a Toyota Supra, a nice white one with yeah. uh, downpipe and tune. Been basically clapping everyone at the office. For real? Yeah. Have you lost anybody yet? No, not yet. I mean, me and Nick raced and I beat him on the highway. I, I gave him the go and I reeled him in and got him. He, he's always making excuses. Oh, there was a there was a car in front of me and he braked for me to... It doesn't make sense, but yeah, I beat Nick O'Patient in a C63. <laughs> oh, okay. What about you, Moody? What'd you make for the week? Uh, I made a 3200 Um I made that. In, was that yeah. your biggest week? Uh, it was actually the same amount like my, the previous week a few weeks ago. Okay, so you've been on a roll. Yeah. I think you're number seven year to date. Five. Number five year to yeah. date in producers. When do you think you'll hit top three? Um, hopefully by the end of this month. That's end the goal. This month, I'm trying to, trying to hit top three and stabilize my side and maintain Stay top consistent. three yeah. by the end of the month. When you're in top three, ultimate favoritism. Of course. Text me anytime for bonus resources. Anything you need, assistance with trying to get presentations set up for you, of course, twenty four seven, modifying the the company systems to to accommodate to our top producers. Producers are the most important important position in any company. Of course, whoever's producing, whoever's pushing the product, and taking care of people, taking care of the customer, you're the most important. You guys are the most important individuals contributing to the company. So it's it's our job to make sure we take care of you. So what about you? What are you driving? Um, right now, I drive a Jeep Compass. Hopefully, by the summer, I'm looking to. Get uh, an I-8. I-8, dude, like plan. Nate. I-8, Nate. That's the plan. The old you know? whip. Let's go, I had dude. my eyes on that car for a what while. What color would you do? Would um, you wrap it? I would I would definitely wrap it, that's for sure. What would you wrap it? Um, I would either be thinking about more like a matte black kind of look. Yeah. Just black it out. Or maybe I was thinking about like a teal. Not like Brandon's, maybe a little bit more like on the brighter side. But that's what I would probably look into. That's fire. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Um, did you have a favorite experience with uh, families you protected this past week? Um, any family stick out to you? Any person stick out to you? Funny that you say that. It wasn't for the production I wrote last week. It was actually the other day. So I closed this policyholder, you know, get, sold him more insurance. I asked for some referrals. He gave me his sister, who was his beneficiary. So they had recently told me that they had a son, um, her and her, ex, uh, her, and her ex-husband, they had an 18-year-old son that passed away recently. And uh, so when we're always talking to the union members, we're always, you know, putting a lot of emphasis in the final expenses, funeral and final expenses. Yeah. And uh, basically they did what literally we tell people that always happens. They raised their GoFundMe. They ended up coming out of pocket for the funeral because they weren't prepared for the insurance. So I ended up selling her some insurance and then I'm about to sell her ex-husband some insurance and I'm about to sell the whole family recently. Then you were able to leverage the experience that they had in regard to the GoFundMe yep. and show them, hey, listen, if you want to put yourselves in the future, we can agree two things are unavoidable. What are they? Death and taxes. Death and taxes. Let me at least help you avoid some of the financial burden with death. Mm -hmm. I can't help you with taxes. And I wish I could. And I already and I asked her, like, hey, do you, I'm assuming you already have some life insurance in place. Yeah. She said, no, I don't. So then I'm like, okay, so we want to make sure we can protect you and your family because we wouldn't want a, a repeat of what, what happened with your son. Again, I already 
explain, told her my condolences and everything. It was more so, yeah, I'm like, yeah, she wants, she wanted to do yeah. that. So babe, That's I fire. was able to get her set up and now I'm going to set her family up later. That's fire. Let's go. Great work. What about you? Do you have a favorite experience with an individual or a person, family? Um, I'd say Saturday was pretty good because I sold two deals. Like this girl texted me saying she wanted insurance. She's already in insurance, so she understands the importance of it. And then I remember my manager's walking around. He's like, yep, Mark sells one deal and then gets complacent. And uh, I called all my leads and I called a couple of my referrals whipped up another exactly i closed this lady for like 1200 and then i'm like i you know you have two kids you said we have a head start program do you want to get your kids set up she's like yep i was like perfect and then i sold her for another 200 so i wrote 2k total but the, from them it was like 14 1500 so i'd say that was pretty good let's go do you guys see uh taylor swift won the super bowl she did yeah oh my god <laughs> You guys didn't have. I, I was rooting. I, for the, I was rooting for the Chiefs the whole Super Bowl, but I can't stand when people say, "Oh, Taylor Swift won the Super Bowl." I'm like, it's it's football. She no, did, it's rigged. She? It's scripted. It's scripted. You think it's scripted? Of Listen, I don't want to get political, but if you check the president of the United States currently, oh yeah, his I Twitter. Seen I seen that earlier. They, they made <laughs> some weird earlier. edit of him. <laughs> And it says just how he drew it up, and he's just got these laser eyes. Oh, I seen, seen that. Like, I, I seen it earlier. On like, <laughs> like obviously it's satire, but it's like at the same time, like maybe it's double reverse psychology, like thinking, oh, we'll play in the minds of the weak and have them think, oh, we're obviously just joking because everybody has these, you know, we live in live, live in times of conspiracy theories, which seem to be facts, but maybe we'll just portray to them that we're playing along joking, but that's what they wanted you to think. But in all reality, it really is rigged and it really is set up and there's a lot of alignment and things that happened in the, the last election year, 2020. Mm -hmm. Then March, what happened? Boom, everything shut down. I don't wanna get it too political and, and too uh, conspiracy based because you know we, we touched on a lot of great things here. Merrick's got the fastest car apparently in the office. You're creeping up. You're number five year to date. You got to be top ten year to date. Yeah, I think I'm six or seven. I'm six or seven to... creeping up. See if yeah. you guys can't. Who do you think is going to be easiest? Julian, B Lab, Samaj. Who's going to be easiest? Julian. Ju Julian, not I, I feel he's like he's not working. Um, I would say he's the most complacent. Samaj, I would say he's going to be the toughest person. To yeah, he's consistent. With. He's got the consistency. Just yeah. works like I, a dog. Yeah, I talk to him every day. It's what about B Lab? B Lab, it's like I, I feel like he's like very 50 50. What do you, you don't know if he's gonna be on or not? Yeah, like some yeah, days he's on, he's on, but when then he's off, he's on. Yeah, he's on. He had that yeah. surgery. Like when he when he's locked in, he produces. He yeah. slams deals like crazy. Um, that's the thing with I respect about him a lot. Yeah. Um, but you know when he, it's like it just all comes with like but mindset I, and just discipline. How I consistent mean, can you stay? Exactly. I you mean, know? I feel like in a scenario, we're all gonna have our our good days and our bad days. I'll have days where I don't make shit. But yeah. I'll have my I'll have I'll hope stay my team consistent produce. for the week though. Exactly. This is what it's going to be called. This year is the battle of consistency. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. That's who's going to come out on top. So, yeah. quick little episode of Strip Mall Paycheck Friday slash Mondays. Any, anything else you guys wanted to touch on? Nope. Shout out to what was what was your name again, my man? Zoe. Is Zoe? Zoe. Zoe. Yeah, just Zoe. Just Zoe. Hey, shout out Zoe. I just did an interview with him out in the on the truck. He worked with Northwest. New Northwestern Mutual is expanding his opportunity into into our side of the business. I'll leave it at that. But we spread into the ATL, right? We spread into the ATL. If you're in the ATL and you're looking for an opportunity and you love the idea of protecting families utilizing life insurance products, which is just you know families investing a small amount of money on a monthly basis and having a large sum of money paid out to the beneficiary, God forbid, when that individual does pay, pass away. In addition to you helping families, you get to build passive income and make some money on the front end as well. So if that sounds like something you want to do, contact Zoe, contact one of us. We'd love to set you up with an opportunity. I can't wait to come out to the ATL. That's Georgia, right? Yeah. Is that Georgia? Atlanta? Yeah. There could be Atlanta, Illinois. You never there know. Yeah. There's an Atlanta, Illinois. See? Exactly. You guys never know. I'm, I'm from Little Rock. They don't teach you geography. You know what I mean? <laughs> they don't teach you nothing in Arkansas. <laughs> Let's go. All right, shout out another pod. Make sure you like, unsubscribe. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't unsubscribe. <laughs> like, subscribe. Do something. Please just do something. We'll see you guys. We'll see you in a couple of days. Peace out.